Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. If you guys were unable to get cardboard, you probably didn't watch the last two videos. Um, but I do have two things we can make out of paper to help us. So what we're going to do, or what we're starting on now, is surface area. So we're going to take what we learned about the area of two-dimensional shapes and kind of apply it to the area of three or the surface area of three-dimensional shapes. So surface area of a shape is really how much area does the outside of that shape cover. So when I think surface area, I kind of think of like wrapping presents with wrapping paper. How much wrapping paper do I need to cover the outside of that shape? And I don't want any left over. So I want the exact number. So that would be a good representation of surface area. Um, and what we're going to be building today is a net. So what a net is, not for fishing, um, a net is a two-dimensional representation of a three-dimensional object. So these right now are in two dimensions, are flat. And what we can do is we can cut them out and we're going to then assemble them to create a three-dimensional object. Um, so we're going to start, actually let me backtrack, um, so once we have that net, we can use that net to actually help us find the area of that three-dimensional shape by finding the area of each two-dimensional shape in a flat setting and then adding them all up and that would give us the surface area of that three-dimensional shape. So we're going to start, we're going to take this one, we're going to put this off to the side, that's our triangular prism, and we're going to actually start with our rectangular prism for right now. So what I'd like you guys to do is you're going to cut around the outside of this shape. Like so. Don't cut into it, you just cut around the outside. And this is going to be our net. So give me a second. While you guys are cutting out yours, I'm cutting out mine. All right, perfect. So now we have this thing right here and what I want to do before we do anything is I want to start labeling the uh, uh, side links you'll see there's some like darker lines and those are the lines we're actually gonna fold on later but those are the our rectangles we're gonna look at so I've got a rectangle here here so I've got one two three four five six rectangles so let's Let's write the dimensions and the area of each one of those. We'll get that surface area thing out of the way first before we start folding. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is six. And, and what I like to do is if I, I know this is six, I just label all the sixes at once. So, that's six. This is six. All right. Um, let's count this one here we got one two three four five six seven eight nine so if this is nine here that's nine, nine there that's nine there and nine there we got one two three four one two three four um one two three four that's four there one two three four four here um and then rectangle I'm missing uh, dimension is this one one two three four five six seven eight nine so I get nine so I've labeled all of my uh, dimensions now we'll find the area we'll put the area inside the rectangle we're gonna circle it so let's, let's go with we'll start with top. so six times four 24 um, six times nine 54 9 times 4 36 9 times 
six times four, 24, and nine times six, 54. So you kind of notice that I've got pairs of numbers. I've got two 24s, I've got two 36s, and I've got two 54s. And that's kind of important. So notice how the relationship of these shapes. So we're gonna take, and we're actually gonna fold it so then these numbers on the outside of our shape. So I'm gonna take and I'm gonna fold along these darker lines. And notice how I fold here. My 36 and 36 are opposite of each other. Think of a box. The opposite sides are exactly the same size. I'm gonna take, I'll fold here. And here, again, 24 and 24 are opposite of each other. And the last one I have is right there. So that is my 54. And again, 54 is on the bottom. So if we you did it correctly, you should have a rectangular prism that looks something like this. All right. So now I've got my three-dimensional shape. I've got all of my, I've got the areas of each one of these shapes in my net. So what I'm to, going to do is I'm going to take my calculator. I know, how dare I? Um, and we're going to add them all up. And if I add up all of the faces of a three-dimensional, sorry, if I add up all the areas of the faces of a three-dimensional shape, that gives me the surface area. So we've got 24 here. I've got plus 36 plus 54 plus 36 plus 24 here plus 54. And my total area is 228 units squared. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it over. Now I'm going to write SA for surface area equals 228 units squared. All right. So that is our rectangular prism. And I'm going to stop this and I'm going to start a new video on a triangular prism.